Hey guys, what is up? It is Cedar Flags here, and welcome back to another video. So today, we will be talking about Kennywood Park near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is an amazing park. I love this park. So much charm. And if you didn't tune into last week's video, I suggest you watch that first because it will give you more of an idea of what this is. But let me give you a brief recap for the people who haven't watched it. So Kennywood is a small park near Pittsburgh, and it has a couple of good rides. It's actually by location, my home park. And the main star of the show is mainly Phantom's Revenge. They haven't came out with a major attraction since 2012, I believe. And their last coaster was Skyrocket, a premier ride's launch back in 2010 and that's kind of mediocre so let's talk about what this could be so if you don't know last week on their facebook page kennywood posted a video it was a little tiny video it's like three seconds long the beginning frame shows a scratch off ticket and in the top right corner you could actually see some text that says kennywood project 412 and so let's see what we already know so first of all let's get things over with the people who don't live near the area 412 is the area code of pittsburgh so it won't do anything with this so let's see what the first number is it is 197 so I'm predicting that's the overall height of the ride. That's just me. I know some other people will think it's something else, but I think it will be the height of the ride. So let's talk about the second number, which is three. So why three? What's three? Three could be a big number when it comes to roller coasters or a really small number. Three is a very small number. One, two, three. So what could three be? So here's my prediction. It's either going to be one out of two things. It will either have three inversions, A, or B, it will be something unique that Kennywood says. Because when Kennywood teases something, like for example, when you see old commercials of Phantom's Revenge, they talk about how it passes three times under the Thunderbolt. So maybe it could be something like that. Three ravine dives, three dives under the racer, three dives over the lagoon, something very similar to that. But... Maybe it's just inversions. How would we know? I have no idea. And that really gets me thinking. Maybe the number 197 could be something completely different from what we're thinking of. Maybe it could be like the fifth drop of the ride or something like that. Or maybe it could be the tallest inversion in the world, which would be pretty cool. But... Anyway, this is my prediction. It will have one, three inversions. Sorry. Three inversions. That's my prediction. And so, as of June 15th, 2018, I am predicting this will be a Mac. This is why. So, what company has been exploding lately? Mac. They've come out with Flash clones in Asia. They came out with DC Rivals, Time Traveler. They're coming out with all these clones, all these original rides, all these cool rides. Mac is making a real comeback here. And hopefully we may see one of these at Kennywood. That would be awesome. I could see it more likely than a Vacoma, unless Vacoma really wants a one-of-a-kind ride here at Kennywood, which would wow us all. But I'd rather have a Vacoma, but I feel like the more realistic one would be a Mac. Will this ride be better than Phantom's Revenge? If they play their cards right, I could say so. Could it be the best coaster in Pennsylvania? That is a good question. I don't know if it could beat Skyrush at the very most, but hopefully this will be a world-class roller coaster that gets people talking all over the world. And if it truly has three inversions and it's a terrain hyper, it will definitely be both of those combined. So maybe that's what they're going for. Who knows? I heard from inside sources it won't be an RMC, which sucks, but, you know, what you gonna do? So... This is Cedar Flags. What do you guys think the three means? What do you guys think the 197 means? What do you guys think that this is going to be? This is definitely coming out in 2019. This is Cedar Flags. And I'll keep you posted with weekly updates. And I will see you guys later.